Very simple. Number one, I want to have a space between myself and the person whose back I have. Here is a seat belt, okay? It goes in as a seat belt. Yeah. Right. I want an over and under, okay? This is the seat belt. The underhand, okay, controls the top hand, and I want to move it under his armpit so it's less accessible for him versus being here which is much more accessible for him, okay? My underhand locks the seat belt, okay? Because if my overhand locks, it's easy to strip, okay? So here, so even if he gets his hands on it, I still have a good control here, okay? What I like to do is I like to attack from the underarm side, okay? So typically the top hand is the choking side, but he's gonna be defending the hands here, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my left foot on the hip and I'm just going to fall off to the right side here. And I'm going to have a good control here so that I can use my, if you can, get a body lock right here, okay? Or to have this leg going across his hip line, just like you would like at a roller coaster here, okay? And then from here, I can begin to work in submissions, chokes, whatever it may be. But this is a very important control. Now, you have to keep in mind, they're going to be defending this right here, okay? And they're gonna wanna be removed the hooks, okay? So he's gonna need to remove the hooks one way or another. So that one, yeah, right here, yeah. And yeah, so right there. And as he begins to turn, okay, put the hooks back in, okay? But oftentimes what happens here is that you remove the top hook, and you start turning to the right. To the right, yeah. and you can ride the back, okay? Because if you pull him back this way, he'll fall on the side he came from. He doesn't want that, because then you go back with the hook, okay? So from here, he's saving his arm. Here, now my right arm is top. If you move the hook with the left hand, he starts going to his knees, and I get an over hook right here. Okay. So I control the left shoulder, and the right leg. Because oftentimes what happens now is he wants to plug this hole right here. Because he knows that that can come over. So he's going to bring his elbow and knee together. You okay? Yeah, I can't, my knee is jacked. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So from here, he'll slowly roll onto his left side. Sit back up. And we take the back. here okay and I want to stay tight because from here now we can begin a hand fight I can use this hand here and I immediately go for his shoulder the top hand I don't want to grab his collar because I'm gonna need five more steps in order to actually finish this choke so when you're here and you're hand fighting it would be here 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 this hand goes to the shoulder okay and now I can pull it back and finish the choke right there, okay? So that my head is also pushing him into the V. And then once I have the shoulder right here with my left hand, I bring my left elbow back. It's like a shrug. It's like I'm pushing his head forward and bringing the elbow back and it's super tight. So that's just a basic, basic way to finish the choke, all right? We start off with hooks. Left hand over, right hand under, and I pull this here. Because now I want to fall to my right side, but I, I don't want to just fall like this on my feet there because it's easy to remove the hooks right there. Yeah. So if he does that and you do that, so he comes up on his right elbow, and so do I. When you get here, I push him down this way here, I can begin to retake his back. But as long as I have his left shoulder, you don't have to do this. This is something a little bit more advanced. 
but whenever you get to the back and you only have one hook, you have the right leg, you control the left shoulder, left arm. So now I'm cross body on him. So oftentimes they, it, it seems that the way to escape is to sit on the left side. Sit on this side. Right here. Take him back this way here, 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 and then you go right back to it. Okay, but all I want you guys to do Belt. I'm going to put my left foot on his hip, bring that right one across and just fall off here, okay? As I'm pulling into his neck here, I, and I'm watching what his hands are doing here. Yeah, right there, okay. So he's slowly hand fighting here, and then you go here, 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 and slowly work my hand under his chin, and my left hand first goes to his shoulder, and it just grab whatever you can get right here. Sometimes you can even grab your own key right here. And then pull the elbow back and finish walk the shoulder. So that's all I want you guys to do and get this leg across. Remember, all this is is like on a roller coaster, that bar that goes across the seat. I'm not here trying to push him away like this because then I can't choke him. I need to pull him to me so that I can begin to finish the chokes. Because if I keep pushing away and there's this tendency to be here and then like the head's back here, you don't have enough arm length. Here, you don't need all the space. It only works against against you and for him. So you want to pull them in, okay? Get under this neck here, preferably with the elbow aligned with his chin, so that your wrist is on the right carotid. Your kind of biceps on the left carotid. You're here. You pull the well, elbow back, or you can even grab your own key here. So I'll pull them up over here. Okay. And if you notice, I'm not pushing them away. All right. So let's just try that. Right hand under as the seatbelt here. Left hand over. You're gonna fall on this side here. Because from here, you're also able to get that back on. All right, let's try it. One, two, three. Stay tight so you can fish that left hand in for the choke. 